video. So I am going to use Model 1's clear powder and the acrylic liquid on this design today because I want to give them a thorough going over and seeing if I like it or not. If you haven't seen the review of these, they were on Thursday's video, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how these work. The nails I've got on are from Wow Bao, and I'm doing like an underwater themed one today. So I have done a few test nails, which I'm gonna copy off. But first I'm going to prep my nails, put some clear powder over my nail beds, and then I can get on with the rest of the design. I'm going to put some clear on now, so I'm hoping this works out okay and doesn't slop everywhere. So last week when I did my stepdaughter's nails, I know a lot of you said that you didn't realise that I was like left-handed. Well, I am ambidextrous because obviously I do my own nails, so you have to be. But on that video, I did, for to make it more aesthetically pleasing as they say, I did change the video clips around. Um, so it looks better else it would just look as if I was sort of upside down doing the nails that's how I had to film it uh, because it was obviously a different way of filming it as how I'm doing now so this is actually drying up in a nice time it's going like that but it's not slopping around everywhere I can control it and it's drying by the time I need to go on to my next finger so I would say I mean my light is quite far down it is quite close to the acrylic that I'm doing so that's going to dry it out a little bit quicker anyway um, but yeah I'm quite impressed with this I, th I thought from when I did the, the review on it that it was drying up really quick but it just goes to show that when you do it on your own nails with the heat of your finger then it dries up a lot quicker okay so i'm going to go through some of the stuff i'm using now because it's it a lot guys so for three of my nails i'm going to use madame glam's crystal clear and this is a jelly blue um this one from model ones is tuxedo blue this is another gel it's a jelly poly gel I'm going to use a load of glitters from Sparkle Supplies UK. I'm using these flakes. These are from Born Pretty. I'm using Neo's Flawless. And then I'm using all of these. This, I don't know where these are from, but these are all from Neo. And I'm using different things out of here to make like the underwater effect. So all that I've done, I've put the silver ones I want to use in this triangle. And then I've put the gold ones where I want to use in this triangle. And then I'm going to mix them all together and see what we come up with. <laughs> right, so I'm going to start off by pouring some more clear over the whole of my thumbnail. Because I'm pouring the jelly gel on. And I, but I, I still want some strength to the nail. So I'm just going to do this. Wait for it to dry. Then put Madame Glam's jelly polish on and cure for 60 seconds
Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing on my first finger. Then I'll go onto my second finger and because I'm doing something completely different on there. Okay, so for my second finger, I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to put clear powder on it because I am now using Model 1's jelly poly gel called Tuxedo Blue. This, guys, is absolutely gorgeous. But I just want a little bit more strength in this nail, so I'm going to do that first. Again, I'm just going to put it on the bottom of the nail and fade it up because I'm putting it the nail bed at the top. Then I'm going to get the different glitters and silver accessories this time, pour them on the nail and encapsulate. So I did just file a little bit of that off because I think I put a little bit too much of the nail bed on there. So I filed some off and then I'm going to put the glitters where I want them now without it making it look as if I've got like a three foot wide nail. Okay, so I'm onto my ring finger now. I've just done the, the, the same and put a layer of clear on. Now, I am going to do this one as bubble nail, as a bubble nail, but I don't know what else I want on. I'm struggling. Here is my water to get all the to get the bubbles. I've put a load of washing up liquid in here. And then I've watched some videos of how you do it. Okay, that is full of bubbles now which I can choose from. So all I do with that is I'm going to get the end of this, pick them up like that and that's how I'm going to put the bubbles on. But I'll explain more. If you haven't seen this technique, it's really cool. Uh, I just don't know what else to do with it. So I used Madame Glam's Crystal Clear 
and then I'm going to use Wow Wow's top coat. So I am going to put two coats of this on, cure it each time for 60 seconds and I'll come back. Okay, so that's cured. Now I'm gonna get, okay. <laughs> Let's undo things before we carry on, Nick. I'm gonna put just where, literally just where I want it. So I'm just gonna mix it, oh, mix it up again. I'm making a right mess. <laughs> it's gone everywhere. Right, we have some little bubbles. Okay, so, which side? That side. So, I'm going to grab these, and then I'm going to pour it on top coat. You have to be quick before they all burst. And cure it quick. Cure it quick. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> oh, I'll be back in 30 seconds. Moments later. Alright, so what you do now is get some gel residue wipe off solution and a lint free wipe and wipe the bubbles off. Yay, it's worked! Cool, look at that, guys. Oh my god, I love that. Look at that. I got myself a bubble nail. Yay! The only trouble is you can't encapsulate it because I tried and you just lose the effect straight away. I mean, you can see them a little bit, but not like this. So yeah, I've got to keep it like that. So I am going to file the edges so that I just make sure that they're not going to catch on anything. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put on the nail bed area. Alright, so I think I'm going to try them again, but I'm going to put some clear on the nail bed just so it looks as if I've got a little bit of an apex going on because at the moment I've got none. I'm shaking. So I'm just going to put this on where I've just put the nail bed area. Alright, I'm not really fantastically happy with that, but it is what it is. But I am going to encapsulate these flake things and then I will file and buff this nail because I've done all the rest and then I'll be back before I put top coat on. guys well that is the end of this week's design i absolutely love what i have done but unfortunately they are not stopping on what they are so pretty and i really love them but i'll show you why in a minute but i just want to give you some close-ups of how gorgeous this thumbnail is i'm not gonna lie that is probably 
my most favourite nail I have done in a long time is that thumbnail. And this is the only nail I like out of the whole set. I do, I really adore, adore, adore that nail a lot. But then you get to the rest. So that is the first one. They're just too high. And then this is the worst one of the, of the lot. I mean, look how high that is. That is just not normal. And I hate it when I get things wrong like this. There's not a lot I can do about this, but I've got like a bump there and then nothing, which I could have done better, but that's my first time doing the bubble nail, which I sort of ruined at the bottom here, but never mind. You'll learn from your experiences, guys, and that's what I'm doing. And then this one I didn't, I didn't do on camera, and this is exactly the same. It is so big because I have placed the things in there in the wrong place. I should have put them further down, same as I did with my thumb. There's only that which is f further up. I mean, I've even got an anchor in there, which is quite th on the thick side, but still, the nail doesn't look thick. So yeah, I... If I could do every nail like this, I would, because it is so, so pretty. Maybe tomorrow I might sit down and redo these four because I'm not happy with how they turned out. But I really hoped you enjoyed how I did these nails. It's something very different using the, the, this amount of stuff. But apart from that, I really hoped you enjoyed this video, guys. Everything I've used today will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys!